Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this video, I want to dive into the Kits plugin for Rust. I want to show you how it works. If you're not familiar with it, show you a little bit of what it does. And it's a really good plugin to use in combination with your Tabex store. We are first going to make a simple bow kit that just everybody can redeem every 10 minutes with no max uses. We are then going to create a VIP kit, which has a slightly different workflow. That workflow is probably what you want to use with Tabex. I got my server running, Oxide or Umod, which is the same thing, is installed. That's the framework that all the plugins are running on. And I'm also admin on my server. If you're not at this point, please look in the video description. There will be two videos. One will explain how to prepare your server with Oxide and making yourself admin. And another video will show you how to connect your Rust server to your Tabex web store. Even though the tutorial is fully focused on the Kits plugin, I will be using the permissions manager to make my life a little bit easier where I can. You can see all the admin comments on the Umod page. There's also some examples so you can see how you could create a kit using multiple options at once. I'm going to be going through the options one by one to make it a little bit more clear. Please take a look at this page because it has a lot of valuable information. All the comments that I will be using in this video can be found over here. I'm first going to spawn in all the stuff that I want to put in a kit. I got some arrows, I got a bow, and I got six bandages. This is what I want to add to the kit. So I'm going to do slash kit add bow. Now we are going to set the options one by one. First, we have to copy our items that we have in our inventory and in our hotbar to the actual kit. So let's do that first. Slash kit items. Then I want to do slash kit image and i will use my logo for this so i'm going to say copy image address make sure that the url ends in a picture extension so dot jpeg dot png whatever and also make sure that the link is not too long that way it should work so back in game i'm going to paste that url and then it says image has been set then i want to do slash kit cooldown and then 600 which is 10 minutes 600 seconds that's all i want to do for this so if i now do slash kit as an admin, I can go to add kit and then add it to the list. It says no image has been found, so we have to reload the plugin. Let's do F1, go back to the console in the top left and do O.reload, if I can type, for oxide.reload and then kits with a capital K. And now if we do slash kit in chat, you can see it's a little bit out of proportion, but our image does show up. It also says cooldown, 10 minutes, I can redeem it. As you can see, if I close this, I now have two. So I did get the kit and also the cooldown you can see now is counting down so I can see exactly when the next time is I can get this kit again. The remove kit option is only because I'm admin as a normal player you will not see this but this allows you to remove kits and add kits and, and basically decide what kits are active at any certain moment. Let's go to our file manager. Let's go into oxide config and let's go into kits and let's see what kind of options we have. As you can see here at the bottom, we have an option saying background URL, same as the pictures for the individual kits. We can fill in a picture URL and it will put that as the background image. So I'm going to be using this Tabex logo. Before I'm going to save this, I want to unload the plugin first. Back in game, I'm going to say arrow up and then instead of reload, I'm going to say unload. Now the plugin is unloaded, so let's save and exit. Then back in game, we can do arrow up twice and reload the plugin. And now if we do slash kit. Now I will be the first one to admit that this doesn't look good. It's the wrong aspect ratio and it's been totally taken out of proportion. I couldn't find any information about what kind of aspect ratio or resolution you should use. So you will have to mess around with those pictures a little bit, but the option definitely works. But for now, I'm definitely going to disable it. <laughs> so let's unload the plugin disable this and then I'll be back. This is a lot better. This is not too bad. So let's just ignore that for now and let's continue. So what if you want to make a VIP kit or a certain kit that only can be redeemed after someone bought something from your store? So I'm going to clear out my inventory. It doesn't only look at your hotbar. It also looks at your inventory. I got a Pookie Bear. Let's make a VIP kit for this. Slash kit add. Oh, I need to do a name. Slash kit add VIP. For example now let's copy the items again so slash kit items and now we want to set a permission for this slash kit permission and i want to do vip kit so this kit can now only be redeemed if you or your group that you're in has the permission vip kit of course you can change all the other options as well 
I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to show you the permissions part to make it a exclusive kit. So we're going to do slash kit. And since we are still admin, we now have the VIP one that we can add. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say remove owner, then paste my Steam ID. And then I remove myself as an admin. And now if I rejoin, I should not be able to see all the kits. Let's do slash kit. As you can see, I can only see the bow. I don't have permission to add a kit, so it will not allow me to go into that menu. Let's give ourselves that permission VIP kit. So I'm admin again and I rejoin the server. If you are setting this up for yourself, you don't have to rejoin the server. You don't have to unadmin yourself like I just did. I just wanted to do that to show you that if you're a normal player, you cannot see that VIP kit. Let's do slash perms. Let's go into my account. Let's go to kits. And then let's click on VIP kit. That's the one that I created. And let's grant that to ourselves. And now if we do kit, we already can see this kit because we're admin. But if I rejoin again without being admin, you will see that I can still see that kit because I now have the proper permission. So now I'm not admin anymore. If I do slash kit, since I still have the proper permission, you can see the VIP kit is still available for me. Once again, I still don't have permission to add any kits or go into that admin menu. If you ever want to change your kits, you can go into your Oxide folder, go into data. There will also be a kits JSON file. When you edit this, here you can see the bow kits that we made. Let's say I want to change the cooldown. I can just change it here and then save it. Of course, unload the plugin first, then save it and reload the plugin like we've been doing in this video. That way you can also edit your kits. Using the custom permission system, you can attach a permission to a kit and then give that permission through Tabex. That would be the next step. That's also exactly what we show in the video in the description. So if you're unsure what to do next, watch that video in the description and that should explain you exactly what steps to do next. If you thought this was helpful, please leave us a like so we can help more people with this video. You can join our Discord to hang out with other content creators to learn how to grow your online community. All our social links will be in the video description. Thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.